Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'm going to talk about adjustment layers in Luminar Flex, what they are, and how I use them to process images. So very briefly, if you're not familiar with what an adjustment layer is, it's just a collection of filters that are grouped into a layer. When you're in Luminar Flex, if you have not opened up the layers area, you actually have layers here, and we can create things called adjustment layers, which we'll do shortly with this photo. But each workspace, so this collection of filters that's here right now, is associated with this layer. When I add a new adjustment layer, I get, in this case, a clear workspace, but I can then load in a new set of filters and work on those independently of what I've already set up on my previous layer. So how do I use this in my workflow? Well, um, I use the two target adjustments to various places. Combining the adjustment layer with a layer mask, it lets me target areas of the photo once I've got the basics down. So I'll use my base layer here to do what I might normally do with uh, most photos. I'll open up the looks panel, and uh, I have uh, some looks I like to start with that I've defined for myself. And I'll start here with crisp and clean. And overall, that's um, this feels like a little slightly heavy-handed to me, so I might back off the amount that that's being applied. And I don't think I like the clarity. I think that's adding too much contrast to the water. I like what it's doing to the trees and the rocks, but that's where my adjustment layers will come in. I can tailor those segments of the photo later. So I'll remove the clarity. Now I want to move on to targeting some adjustments to other areas of my photo. So let's add an adjustment layer and let's focus on the tree line right now. I have another look. I'll click on this one, Deep Forest. And this adds a whole set of filters that are really designed more for a scene with an entire forest of trees and greenery. I don't have that in this photo. I only have a segment of it. That's where our masking tools come in. Just like with filters on the adjustment layers, you have masking tools. I'll grab my brush. I will invert the mask. So now I'm removing all of these filters. So all of this stuff that's here in this workspace is associated with this adjustment layer. And so when I turn the mask to entire black, nothing shows up. And now I can paint in the look. So I can just paint it in on the trees. So as I brush around here, we'll start to see that effect of that filter come into just the tree area. And to make sure I don't miss anything, I'll turn on the view mask button just so I can make sure I cover all of the trees that I need to. My bracket keys will adjust the size of my brush so I can get into these smaller areas here. And I won't bore you with me getting all of the bits of trees masked in here properly. What I will show you in the masking area, a little bonus tip, I like to increase the feather a little bit and usually bring down the density by a few points. That just blends the mask in with the rest of the scene a little more nicely. So once that's done, we'll hit OK on there, hit done up on the toolbar there. And now I want to start working on the foreground. Let's work on these boulders of this beach here. Uh, I guess beach is a generous term. I'll add another adjustment layer. And now I'm really just going to pay attention to my foreground. So if I have other looks, I know in the landscape area, this dramatic landscape looks kind of interesting for the foreground. Again, I'm only paying attention to what's going on with these rocks. I'm not caring about anything else in the scene. Uh, I'll save the vignette for last, so we'll get rid of the vignette. And I like what's happening here. Again, I will go up to the adjustment layer, grab my mask. In this point, a gradient mask will work nicely. I'll draw the gradient on here, and then let's rotate this into position. Maybe I'll put my pivot point out over here at the corner of the beach, rotate this downward, adjust the feather just a tiny bit. So now this set of filters is only affecting my foreground. We can take a quick peek at before and after. Let me say done for that mask before and after. So I'm increasing a bit of contrast and I can do other things here too. Maybe I want to increase the clarity. I don't have to be limited by what the look does. I can punch up the detail on those rocks you know, to my liking, just like you would do with any look. You can go adjust the filters after the fact. Let's finish this off with something up in the sky, maybe just bringing in a little more of that sky color. 
Let's add one more adjustment layer. And this time, maybe I'll just use the filters directly. I don't have to use a look. Let's take a look at the Sky Enhancer and just start pushing that up. That's looking really great. I don't think I'll even need to do any masking whatsoever because the Sky Enhancer is smart enough to find where the sky is. Don't need to do masking. So this is a good place for me to do a finishing touch of a vignette. So we'll add a vignette on there. Be take the amount down so we get some darkness there. Let's do this. Let's take the feather all the way down. Take the amount really far down. Now we can see where that edge of that vignette is. Nudge it in a little bit. Make it a little, a little bit rounder. That was too much on the size. Let's increase that back out. So I really want to just kind of touch the corners here. And then return that feather to a nice, soft, smooth gradation. Return the amount to something that's just nudging those corners into darkness. So this is how I'm using adjustment layers to kind of you know, segment the photo into different regions, have groups of filters that I can easily mask and target places. So let's run through the whole photo one more time. I'll hold down the backslash key for just a moment so we can see this is what came in to Luminar Flex. This was the base adjustments I made on the whole photo. Added a set of filters to add some color and a touch of glow up into the tree line. Another adjustment layer to get pop and contrast and detail into the foreground. And a final adjustment layer to target the sky and add a vignette. So that's what adjustment layers are all about. And they're really nice to work with. Very easy way to combine looks and also limit effects to different parts of your photo with a bit of light masking. Hope you've enjoyed the video. My name is Scott Davenport and thanks for watching.